Hello, this is Will Faber. Today we're continuing our discussion on developing collection. So here's Amber on Legolas. Now this is after we've warmed up. This is towards the end of our session, but I wanted to show you this to start with to show you how we got here. So for him, this is our day that we're going to do the most collected work of our week and ask him for a little bit more. You can't ride a horse in its highest level of collection every day. If you do, the horse's back will tire out and it will collapse underneath you and you won't be able to sustain it for very long. So with this workout, what we did in the beginning of this workout, he had nothing but a uh, workout in long and low stretching and uh, getting his back working, walk, trot, and canter, just stretching in all three gates. And then I came back and began to work the horse and pee off. So that's what we're going to show you here today is how we got to this point that we ended with. Notice how nicely elevated the forehand is. He's not uh, in huge collection yet, but you can see the collection beginning to happen. You see him beginning to flex the hind legs a little more and the forehand be elevated a little more. So once again, how do we get to this point? We started out just a, with a warm up, and then I worked the horse in hand and pee off, which is about the third time I've done this, which is what you're going to see now. So this will be about the third time I've worked this horse in pee off. And once again, remember this only works if the horse has been ridden light in the range. Notice how all I'm doing is activating his hindquarters a little bit. I'm looking for him to lift the diagonal pair, and that's all I'm really looking for at this stage. As you see, he's activating from the tap of the whip, once again, activating the hindquarters, which is what we want. I'm going to lower there, and you can see he's struggling to figure out what I want. That's always the case. There, he starts to lift diagonal pairs, and that's what I'm looking for. It kicks out a little bit. That's very normal when we start this. Sometimes we tickle them with the whip a little bit, and they kick out. But notice he's not getting agitated about this, and he lowered nicely behind and lifted the diagonal pair. So that's all I'm looking for on this particular day. Then we would have gotten back up. So as I said before, he's already been warmed up before the pee-off work. He just did a long a long and low workout, just getting him stretched out over his back to prepare him for the work in the pee-off. And then we're going to ask him to come right up into a, um, his highest level of collection, so to speak, that he's capable of. Amber takes the reins there and begins to soften. Now you notice throughout this work, she is in a double bridle, but notice how relaxed the curb rein is throughout. So she's just beginning to get it all together here. You see she's beginning to stretch up, and you can see how his uh, cadence slows a little bit, and what we lose, lose in forward motion, we gain in lift. That's the idea, kind of like a wave coming to a shore and how it builds up. That's what carries a surfer forward. Well, same thing's true with the horse. We want that feeling of, the, of it, it, the wave kind of lifting up underneath us, which he's doing quite nicely here. So you can see the step isn't quite as long as it was uh, before or in, the, in our more working trot, so to speak. Staying pretty well lowered behind, good flexion in the hocks, flexing at the pole and not back in the neck, which is exactly what we want. So once again, when we do the highest level of a horse's workout for the week, we don't expect them to sustain it for a really long time. If you ever watch people like weightlifters, for instance, you know, they save those heavy, heavy weights for their competition because we have to be fresh in order to have that happen. So same thing is true of the horse in, in collection. If we just keep trying to collect them all the time, that's all we do, we'll end up with a very sore back and very hollow horse and probably an angry one. So you can see here his, his forehand is staying quite nicely lifted. For his level of training. Once again, this is just the beginnings of collection. She changes the rein here. He stays quite nice in the cadence, still lifting up. We have good flexion behind. He's even starting to lower just a little bit behind, which is what we're looking for. Remember, that's what collection is, is the lowering of the three joints of the hind legs. So if we keep the horse active, as she's doing here, and we get that to happen, we get the horse to lift up. And if you compare this video to some other videos, you'll see that his forehand is more lifted here than it would have been in the uh, working trot the two previous workouts, which we were just preparing him for this. Once again, not always working in the highest level frame. So all the lateral work and things like that, we work in at the lower level frame to prepare him for this. And then the collection, we just do a little bit of it once a week or every, you know, when, when he feels fresh. Once again, the idea is to read the horse. Some days the horse can come out a couple of days in a row and be capable of doing this. And maybe the third day you come out and they're so tired they feel like they can't move. And those days, that's what we have to do is go back to the stretching and just stretch the horse over its back again, give it time to build muscle. Remember, the muscle is built in the stretch. It's not built in collection. You build the horse so that you can collect. And here she does a nice medium trot. He swings through quite nicely without speeding up. Stays well over his back. And once again, we can see how the stride is a little bit elevated compared to what it's been in, in the previous two sessions on developing collection. So today we're asking for the highest level the horse can perform. Once again, you think about a dressage test, even a Grand Prix test is only you know, some eight or nine minutes long or something like that. So um, it's not a long time. So the idea of horses being able to 
uh, sustained collection for hours at a time is ridiculous. It's impossible. Just like no athlete can do the highest level work it does every day constantly. So once again, nice medium trot there. See how he swung through without any change in the rhythm. And she gets at the end of that, she'll stretch up. And once again, see, watch how he elevates the forehand a little more here. Good. Staying very nicely in the bridle, not over bending or over flexing. And again, a nice medium trot coming across there. Look how the hind quarters swing through. Exactly what we're looking for as she stretches her body up here again. And he gets back up underneath her again. And, and once again, elevates that forehand a little more. Remember, collection is not about getting the horse to lift its knees. That's not what collection is at all. Some horses will have a much higher knee action than others. Horses that have higher set knees, for instance. But on a horse that's more built like this, you know, like a thoroughbred kind of horse where the cannon bone is not as long as the forearm, um, you're rarely going to see the kind of uh, pee off where the horse just it brings its knees up around its chin. It just doesn't work that way. So once again, a nice medium trot here. And she lets him go forward, but he stays up at the same time. Remember, that's the difference between a medium trot and a, and a lengthening of stride. In the lengthening of the stride, we let, allow the whole frame to lengthen and kind of flatten a little bit, so to speak, but still work over their backs. Here, when we're working from collection, we want the horse to maintain that lowering behind and the horse still come through. So once again, that's the difference between a medium or extended trot and a working trot. So this was his third day of working out of our week. Now he'll have a day of rest tomorrow and be ready to start the process all over again. Our work week is three days off, one, uh, three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. One, another really nice lengthening there. He's had a little bobble in the ring there, but that was all. Once again, he comes up beautifully. This will favor from art to ride.